Hey everyone, it's Gemma Chappie Plans. Today I am sharing a flip through of my October planner spreads. If you'd like to see what they look like, stick around. What's up Chappie fam? Thanks for joining me for this bonus video today. I am going to be sharing some completed spreads from all of the different inserts that I've been using for 2022 and the month of October. So let's get started. Of course, I have my daily passion planner and because I started using the right side for journaling, I'm just going to do a quick, let you look at it and then just kind of see, I'm just going to do a really quick flip through because it's always pretty, you know, like, I don't think you guys really want to know all of my information, but I just want to show you what they look like completed. And normally I would take the time to like, oh, look at this one and look what I did here. But because I use the right side for journaling, I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to do a quick little flip through so you can see, kind of get an idea. And some of them you may recognize from like doing the plan with me videos. Lots and lots. That was my birthday. These were JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop stickers. And that is the last one in the month of October. Things are going to be looking different, though, for next year's lineup. So the more I'm thinking, the more things are going to switch. And I hope y'all are going to be along for the ride because it is different than what I'm using now. Some of it. Some of it's the same. Okay, this is my wellness that I actually recently stopped using and I'm only... Um, using my regular weekly spreads uh, for a couple of reasons, but mostly because I use this for the majority of this year because it really helped me to get in, get on track, track my fitness, what I'm eating, really get my health back in gear. And it's become like a daily need for me to exercise, eat well, all that kind of stuff. So really the things I need to track now at this point aren't necessarily everything I'm eating in the day, but calories in and out and I like to write down what exercise I did do. So really that's it, and then a weekly stat. So that can be tracked just using the sidebar of my vertical layout, which has always been my catch-all, and that will be the same for next year. So I'm not using a wellness planner, um, but this was the last whole month I did. So these stickers are from Jojo Apple Prints. These are from Martina's Sticker Company. This was my nod to pregnancy loss Aware and Infant Awareness Month. Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. And then these are from Casey, Pleasantly Planned. So pretty, those gorgeous muted neutral colors. These are from Caitlin Plans. And then the pumpkins are Jojo Apple prints again, the different gourds there. But I just love these little, <laughs> little dogs all dressed up. Because I don't do, I don't really do Halloween, so. But this was so cute for me. I loved it. That is October. And that's wellness. I don't know why I started with wellness. It was just sitting on top. I'll get, I'll do my catch-all. Let's see. October. Woo! So there's the month at a glance using the birthday wishes collection. Lots of different stickers from Martina's Sticker Company. And then again, Martina's Sticker Company. And then according to Allie, inks and a couple of leftover pumpkins and the terrazzo washi i really love how this turned out it was very very different for me and then again my pregnancy and infant loss awareness spread using pink and blue because those are the colors you can see i used some old um, happy planner letters and these stickers are from pleasantly planned and then this one i love these are the like abstract pastel fall stickers from according to ali's patreon so pretty. And this week I used a brown pen. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and that was the week Nora had COVID. Not cool, man. Okay. And then this was my birthday, my birthday week where confetti just vomited all over my page. Pages, I should say. Uh, quotes. And again, all the stickers and as usual, Mojo Jojo plans for my boxes. And that's it. It was a busy week. That was when we went to New Hampshire. I volunteered at the school book fair. My husband was away for work. It was a lot but we survived. Okay, my work planner. This has evolved several times throughout the year. It was 
the what I had left of a monthly layout from the Happy Planner, and then I just kept using the dividers. I switched over to Jane's Agenda. Um, weekly number 12 inserts in July. But that's going to be staying the same as well. So a lot of times I'll use my old Happy Planner seasonal stickers to make the monthlies for my work planner. Um, I just de-stash another like 100 sticker books. I gave them away. <laughs> so um this was stickers from amused designs love the baroque style and then like this vintage paper from die cuts with a view i brought in a couple of washies this one's paper minty studio and this one's from michael's it's a recollections but i love how this turned out again um it's a similar feel but these are stickers from according to ally then um these ones are from the patreon exclusive and then these are I think comfy and cozy were the names of the sheets that she released so and then i just love this green this like sage green color this washi is also from paper minty studio it's funny because i don't like i really love color but then i also love like a good neutral spread so here's another one these stickers are from caitlin plans i've got washi from the washi tape shop i also added in some of these like rose gold foiled florals from a happy planner sticker book and then the rose gold um washi from simply gilded rose gold boxes i just it's so pretty i love how that turned out and then this is martina sticker company really cute lots of just fun little clusters and layers and yeah it's definitely an october vibe and then these are according to Allie's fall blooms she does a seasonal bloom sticker sheet for every season. They're always insanely gorgeous. The colors are always on point and they're really, really, really easy to use in a spread. So highly recommend. Um, also used her Spotty Dotty Washi and boxes from Mojo Dojo Plans. I also use some of Allie's quotes. You can um, use any of the links in my description box below because I always will list links to shops that I am either a rep on or that I might be affiliated with and if I have a code it will be listed there for you as well. I do really 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 truly appreciate your support. Okay and then this one is my social media planner. It is mostly if not all. Let's see. So I was using up the rest of this dashboard layout. Spoonful of Faith dashboard layout from the Happy Planner and then I switched over to Casey's um, Pleasantly Planned in when? July? Nope. August? Yes. And I, oh no, it is July. July is when I switched over. Okay, I can see. I can read, I can read. Um, because they just work so much better for me as a right-handed person. Um, but here are some old stickers from Whimsy Lux and just random box stickers I had. This is how I plan my Instagram feed. It probably makes no sense to you, but let me know if you need it for their explanation. And October is when I started going on this like paper and sticker craft journal, junk journal look kick, and I'm still here for it. I love using paper. So these stickers are Caitlin Plans. And then these are also Caitlin Plans, but also mixed in with Martina's Sticker Company Jack-o'-lanterns and then the spiders. And these little stars are from Caitlin Plans. The washi is according to Allie, and the boxes are Mojo Jojo. And then we have some more Caitlin Plans, again with the paper. Um, this was her updated reading um, sticker sheet, and it might have been called Book Lover. And then the um, pink pumpkins. And I just thought, like, wow, this was a busy spread, lots of color, but I really like how it turned out. I did end up mixing in some old Happy Planner rainbow stickers because they were the perfect color some of Caitlin's Dalmatian um, cluster stickers, and then a lot of washi. And last but not least is this fun spread using stickers from Jojo Apple Prints, pumpkin patch themed, and not a lot of writing because that's when we went to New Hampshire. So friends, that is all of my spreads for the month of October that I'm able to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And make sure you're subscribed because I will be doing a 2023 planner lineup video and you might be surprised at some of the changes I'm making. So if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, 
hit the bell so you don't miss any of my content and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Take care. I hope you have a super amazing Thanksgiving week. Just enjoy being with your family. And even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you can always be grateful for something, right? So friends, take care of yourselves. Remember that you are enough and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.